Hello and welcome to Quality Lounge. I'm Nick. Today we're going to make two classic cocktails to showcase these lovely ingredients, the Dolan French Sweet and Dry Vermouths. At Quality Lounge we choose Dolan because it has a much higher percentage of wine, which tends to mean that compared to other types of both sweet and dry vermouth, you get more tannins, which is a can be a slightly bitter note, but more importantly more florals, much richer flavour, which really does show through in most cocktails. So, to showcase this, let's start with the Dolan Rouge Vermouth and make a classic Manhattan. Okay, taking your pre-chilled cocktail mixing glass, add two and a half measures of a good quality rye whiskey. A lot of people make a Manhattan with bourbon. Um, we tend to prefer using rye whiskey for a number of reasons, but mainly because with Dolan and our choice of bitters, in Boca's bitters, you get a much more classic flavour and something that really does have layers of flavouring rather than just being a sweet or kind of sweet drink that a lot of people associate with the Manhattan. Also, play around with your ratios. Sometimes different amounts of sweet vermouth and different types of sweet vermouth will change how a Manhattan tastes. So, messing about with it, having a bit of a feel, finding out what works for you and your customers is really important when dealing with things like both a Manhattan and later on the martini. So, two, two and a half measures of rye whiskey. We add a little bit over three quarters of sweet vermouth. And finally, to round it off, the classic and ancient Boca's Bitters recipe. We find that with rye whiskey, if you use Boca's instead of Agnostura or other aromatic bitters, the slightly coffee notes tend to really bring forward this coffee, toffee, caramelly flavour that's really important in rye whiskey. It just makes it taste amazing. Okay, time to ice up and get stirring. Okay. Once again, because this is a clear cocktail, no fruit juice or other such substances, we uh, stir rather than shake, very important. And also because the Manhattan doesn't want to get any air bubbles or changes in texture and it really wants to dilute down because two and a half ounces or measures of a rye whiskey is a lot of whiskey and you really want these flavours to marry together harmoniously and not be uh, a little bit too sharp. That looks just about done. Grab your little teacup, get the taste test going on. Mm. Perfect, absolutely perfect. That's got lots of flavour and the florals really do come forward. There's a sharp note at the start, cutting to a nice floral, almost wine-like taste that then just becomes a smooth coffee and caramel flavour at the end with a dry finish. It really just makes you want to keep drinking. Which is always handy if you're running a bar. Okay, take your small, chilled cocktail glass, something that's good to sip on for a short period of time and pour into it. At Qualia Lounge, we tend to use, for at least our classic cocktails, chilling craft. This is mainly so that you can keep the cocktail at the temperature that it was first poured into the glass. And by doing so, it stays consistent, it doesn't warm up, and it doesn't bring out too many of both the tannin notes from the wine in the vermouth, and also the far too strong whiskey notes that will come forward in any whiskey, whether it's bourbon, rye, or even if you make your Manhattans with scotch, that will only really happen when the uh, liquid itself reaches certain temperatures. So, there we have it. Perfectly chilled and perfectly balanced. Classic Manhattan.